Hey everyone, Ada Beauty here. So a while back I made a video and I think I titled it All My Piercings Past and Present 2015. Pretty sure that's why I titled it. Um, Alright, so in that video I mentioned I used to have two cartilage or helix piercings um, on both ears and that I no longer had them. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to tell you guys the story as to why I don't have them. And I think it will definitely help some of you, hopefully. Um, like, don't make the same mistakes that I did. Alright, so I'm just going to get into it. I was a sophomore in high school, pretty sure I was 16, and I wanted my cartilages, cartilages, is that the right term, terminology? I wanted helix piercing, cartilage piercings, whatever, and I wanted them really bad. And <laughs> I was young and I was stupid and I didn't quite understand that you shouldn't be using piercing guns to pierce like any part of your body really um so I was young like I said and just stupid so I went to Walmart and I got them pierced there and real quick if you don't know um piercing guns are extremely bad you should not use them to pierce anything on your body I know some people use them to pierce other things besides like just the ear like your nose or your tragus um and definitely don't don't do that that's just stupid all right so I got them done there and no joke it bruised both of my ears. I'm not even kidding. I didn't even know that that's, that was possible. But just like the force of that gun just bruised my ears. Um, it was so incredibly painful. And I mean, honestly, to this day, I would say that that's like my most painful piercing. Um, it might be tied, it, tied with the nips, um, but it was horribly painful. Just horribly painful definitely like an 8 or 9 or 10 like just horrible pain um but that didn't stop me from being stupid so a couple weeks after that I went back and I got another cartilage piercing one on both ears um so yeah I ended up having two on each ear now flash forward over a year later I think they would be healed everything would be great my life would be wonderful no 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 um, it was not like that at all. I ended up having to take one out on this side um, because it just never seemed to heal right. Probably because it was pierced incorrectly, guys. Um, no matter what I did, it just was not healing right. And it just hurt. And it wasn't like infected or anything. It just hurt. Definitely irritated. Um, so I took it out, cleaned it, you know, looked after it for a few days, let it heal. Um, and then I don't know how long afterwards, probably a couple months, um, I just noticed that this side started to hurt and I just assumed it was probably just acting up like the second one on that side did as well. Um, and so I just started to clean it, kind of take care of it. Um, and then I don't like maybe a week later or something. Now, before I, get, before I finish that thought, let me just warn you guys, this part is gross. Um, so if you don't like to hear about pus and blood, just fast forward or something like this is part of the story that gets fun I guess um okay so probably like maybe a week after I noticed it was irritated I noticed that I was like I think I was at school and I had my hair down and my hair was pretty long at the time um and I noticed that it was leaking pus just look I'm just gonna let that sink in for you guys. I'll be here when you get back. All right, so yes, it was leaking pus. My ear piercing was leaking pus. No freaking joke. I was so disgusted, but like luckily, like no one could see. So it was like getting in my hair, but yeah. So, <laughs> so gross. I'm so sorry I'm telling this story. Yeah, so no matter what I did, I cleaned it and everything like that, and it just kept getting more and more infected and that is a legit infected piercing i know everyone freaks out when their piercing gets irritated and like oh my gosh it's infected no if it's infected it'll have pus believe me i know um and both of my parents are in the medical field so they are well trained and so they were constantly like looking at it and it just it ended up just getting this like forming this huge bubble on my ear and now i i know that they say if your piercing is actually infected, do not take out the jewelry because that's just gonna like the the hole of the jewelry will close and it will trap the infection in there. But 
my ear had so much pressure so I went ahead and I took out my jewelry just to see if I could kind of squeeze some of that out to really like help relieve it and like no it just was not working and oh it was so gross um but yeah so eventually I had to miss school one day because my parents were like all right this infection is getting out of control and it's crazy and gross and you're gonna have to go to the doctor so my dad took me to the doctor and no freaking oh they couldn't do anything except for they could either give me a round of antibiotics um which might treat the infection or it might just do nothing and the infection will spread or and this one is my favorite guys or they might have to make a small incision on the back of my ear and the doctor will scrape out all the infection now like i said both my parents are in the medical field so my dad is a nurse so i'm like dad what do you think what's the best option here and he's like honestly kid you're gonna you're gonna want them to do the little incision and scrape it all out i'm like awesome let's do it so <laughs> A syringe full of numbing gel later still can fill everything because the infection is not allowing the numbing gel to work and I'm just in more pain because of the doctor having to put the syringe poking me with the needle to put the numbing gel in my ear so more pain no numb he's gonna do the incision so he prepares the ear and I am like laying on my side and he cuts it and I can feel everything that that doctor is doing. Like freaking everything. Oh god, it was painful. Um, but yeah, I just sat there and I took it and he scraped away all the stuff. They had to put a huge band-aid on my ear and then they prescribed me around um, antibiotics and they took a sample of the infection um, to do a culture in the lab to see what kind of infection it was. Um, but they gave me a pretty um, good antibiotic that just cured like a broad range of things. And then the doctor was like, when he was done with my ear, he was like, all right, do you want me to prescribe you some pain medicine? I didn't even like let him finish. I was like, yes, I want pain medicine. I was in so much pain, like it was just throbbing. Like, I was so thankful I didn't have to go back to school the rest of that day. I just got my prescription filled, took a pain pill, and I was just out. Like, out. And then, come to find out, that culture in the lab that they did, that sample, came back a staph infection. A staph infection, guys. That's what I had in my freaking ear. No freaking joke. So... That's why this ear is curved like that. That's because that's that's where they had to cut it. That's where the piercing was. That's where the infection was. All right, so that is the story as to why I no longer have cartilage piercings. Let me just say after that, these two started to hurt and I was not having that. So I just took them out and I definitely have plans to get them re-pierced. I'm definitely going to a professional because I am older now. I'm not stupid. I know to go to professional, no piercing guns. So if you take anything away from this video, please let it be. Do not use piercing guns. You know, piercing guns, they were, the idea of a piercing gun came from the same type of gun they use to tag helpless cows' ears. And that's, I mean, to tag a cow, to tag cow's ears, is like barbaric in any way, but then to essentially kind of use that same thing on yourself is barbaric as well. So that's my personal thing. And before anyone's like, oh, you probably didn't clean them, you probably didn't take care of them. I did. I cleaned them, I took care of them, sea salt soak, all that stuff. I took care of them. So it's not like I was just dirty and I didn't take care of them and unhygienic. No, I took care of them, guys. I had them for over like a year and in that time they were supposed to heal. And the fact that they didn't heal, no matter like what, kind of says that they were pierced improperly. I mean, look at all my piercings now. It's not like my body just rejects all piercings because it doesn't. It just is simply the low quality of metal that they use at Walmart 
And then the piercing gun in itself, you shouldn't pierce any part of your body with the piercing gun. Um, so I think that's it for the video. Sorry if it was disgusting, um, but I just gotta keep it rolling with you all. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.